Hello, I'm Steve Maskery and welcome to Workshop Essentials. I've screwed the front half of my worktop down to the frame from underneath using coach screws and uh, it's time to fit the apron. Now on most benches the apron if you've got one it will be on the front but I like to be able to use clamps on the front of my bench and an apron prevents you from doing that. You could use holdfasts but not clamps. So I'm going to put my apron on the back. An apron adds an enormous amount of rigidity but to be perfectly honest, if I'd not already made this up, and I glued this up several weeks ago actually now, I wouldn't bother. Why? Because this bench frame is absolutely rock solid without it. You could put a strain gauge on there and it wouldn't show anything. It's really very good indeed. But I've already glued it up, so I may as well use it. I have routed out a couple of uh, recesses here, housings, and I did it with a router jig uh, and a little router and then cleaned up by hand uh, to give me a really good fit. So let's just see how good that fit is, shall we? It's getting heavy. There we go. And that's really very nice. And it, it, there is, as I say, there is zero movement in that. The only wobble is because I've got a bit of uh, sawdust underneath one of, the, one of the legs. And there's one last piece of the bench top to go on, and it's this. So that's going to go in there like that to give me a, a back row of dog holes. And I've made a small mistake, actually. I've been very careful here at this end to make sure that my dog holes don't foul the leg frame. And obviously this one here has got to line up with those three if I'm going to be able to use it with the vise. But over at this side, this dog hole is fouled by this back leg. So that's going to get full of crud. And although I could use a dog in there, um, I'm not going to be able to use a hold fast and I'm not sure why you would want to have a dog in that position it's a, it's a strange place to do it hold fast yes but so cocked up a bit there sorry about that uh, but this is going to be biscuited to this piece and then the whole lot screwed on from this side I fixed that dog hole problem in the same way as I fixed the one in front of the vise. I cut away between the two adjacent dog holes and glued a new piece in. Dead easy and a much better job.
there are some people who don't like my taste in music. If you're one of them, then this track's for you. Enjoy. I've counterboard these holes, I'm going to plug them afterwards. Well, look at that, eh? That isn't going anywhere for anybody. Well, that's it for this episode. Uh, next time, I'll be fitting the vice and making the dead man. So until then, thank you very much for watching and enjoy your workshop. Cheerio!